What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade. Basketball analysis. Come to y'all with a quick video today. We're going to talk about Mike Brown having a strong impression on the Los Angeles Clippers as their next head coach. Well, it sounds a little crazy because Mike Brown been a head coach multiple times in his NBA career and never could get that championship as a head coach, even though he did get to the NBA Finals. And he did coach guys like LeBron and Kobe and et cetera. I, I said it was going to be tough to find a coach. Once you let go of a guy like Di Rivers, it's going to be tough to find somebody better than him. And I do think Mike Brown is a step below, significantly below, um, Doc Rivers as a coach, but it just shows you that you have to have these things in your mind already planned. It's important to do interviews. It's important to um, have your, your your options available because people are going to come to you trying to get the job. But not only that, you should know what type of coach you want, what you're trying to do with the team. And that's why I thought it was a little premature. You didn't fire Doc Rivers right away. You gave it a couple of days and you, you let him go. But now you're trying to find somebody that can get this team to where it needs to be. And that's in the NBA Finals with a championship. And that's the hardest thing to do. This was a team that was up 3-1 and was one quarter away from going to the Western Conference Finals, something that the Clippers have never done before. And even that, they will still have to beat the Lakers and beat the Heat to still be a champion, which will be tough either or. And it's a little easier to coach a team like this, though, because you do have a lot of talent, and you do have a lot of guys that already know what they are. They already know their game, and they already know – you know, basically the NBA at this point because this is a veteran group. This isn't a young up and coming team that you have to teach and show and, and grind with. This is just a team that's trying to figure out a way to play well together, play well off of each other and become a better defensive team, which I thought that we thought that they would be, but they wasn't as great defensively as we wanted them to be. But they also wasn't as great offensively with all the pieces. And a lot of that had to do with injuries and a lot of that had to do with guys not playing enough. But even then, they were still one game away, one quarter away from being in the Western Conference Finals with all these issues that would make you, at the end of the day, not get as far as they did. But I don't see Mike Brown coming in this situation, changing the culture. I don't see Mike Brown coming in and getting them over the hump when the West is just brutal this year. But just imagine next year how it's going to be. And the Clippers have to start all the way from scratch. And then they will have to literally see how they're going to retool and rebuild this roster to upgrade it so they have a better chance of winning it next year. And, you know, you can't be satisfied. Yeah, Lawrence Frank was executive of the year, but they did not accomplish the goal that they had sat out for themselves once they made the trade for Paul George and Kawhi Leonard being the free agent and signing with them. They did not get the goal even close to being accomplished. So they still have some things to fix some things to iron out and they have to fill you know this void of doc rivers who is now gone you you're trying to upgrade you know the roster and the coaching staff if you can do that and i don't think mike brown is gonna be that much of an upgrade or even replaceable when it comes to doc rivers so i think that this team has a lot of small problems this team has problems outside of coaching that they still do have to figure it out. And that's Steve Ballmer job as a guy that's hiring these guys and paying these guys to put this roster together and in these players to be on the same page on the court so that way they can get the ultimate goal one. They still have ways to go. This probably was the best roster when it comes to talent. This probably was the best roster when it comes to names in the entire NBA or, you know, second just because they was that loaded with talent and they didn't even come close to getting a job done. That's more than just coaching. That's the problem. But that does have a big reasons of why they didn't get it done at the same time. So I'm looking at this team and I'm highly disappointed. Um, basically, everybody had a win in this year and they didn't even get that done or come close. And I don't think Mike Brown is going to come in here with this ability to change everything that he's been doing in the past and, and literally put together 
this team, while Lauren Frank and Jerry West continue to tinker with this roster, I don't see Mike Brown coming in and being that championship coach that they do, they're lusting and needing desperately right now. And, you know, it's different because he is a different coach to a certain extent because he, he went through different other places and he did show that he can win games in the regular season. He did show that he can manage stars to a certain extent. But I don't think that he should be your number one priority. You have to give him a shot just because – he is a guy that you're interested in, just like Frank Vogel. He did terrible to people in Orlando, and people thought he was done, and now he's a champion and wasn't even the first option. And next thing you know, he's a championship coach. So you do have to put that under perspective when you're looking at Mike Brown. But I probably will hold out just a little bit more to get somebody else. You know, I don't think Tyron Lewis, and Mike Brown – are the greatest coaches, and I don't think that they're possibly even the best coaches available, um, in my personal opinion. And that's what I was saying. That if you're on a fire or die rivers, you should already have a couple guys that you know can do a better job before you even think about hiring guys that are just trying to take the position. You should already have in your head the guys that you want to go out to get first, and those are the coaches that you should prioritize at the replacing Dot Rivers now as the goal. So, you know, Kawhi Leonard is one of the top three, top five players in the world. Paul George is one of the top 10, top 15, top 20 players in the world, and they both do complement each other well. They both do play off each other well. They just, you know, choked at the end of the day. They didn't come up big. They didn't play hard enough. They didn't play with enough fight and enough energy, and they just didn't, you know, connect as well as you thought they would after knowing each other for a while and wanting to play with each other. They didn't have that urgency. They didn't have that aggressiveness, and it seemed like they got comfortable, and you can't do that when you're going to in the Western Conference and everybody is great and everybody has good duos and everybody has great to good coaches. You can't have that comfortability because you haven't won a title yet. Y'all haven't got the job done yet. Y'all haven't even got to the next round. And teams was hungrier. Teams wasn't scared. Teams wasn't intimidated. And teams felt like they can do whatever they wanted to against the Clippers. Even the Mavericks in the first round was attacking and going at the Clippers, standing up at the Clippers, fighting back at the Clippers. So the Clippers wasn't a team that they thought they was. The Clippers wasn't a team that we thought they would be. And it showed even in the seeding games and then it definitely showed in the playoffs that the Clippers are just another great team in the league. Just like we've seen with the Milwaukee Bucks, just like we've seen with the Celtics. It's a lot of great teams in this league, but they can be beat. If you go out there and play a game and you go out there and execute and you go out there and have confidence as a basketball player and as a basketball team, you got a coaching staff that are prepared and want to prove it and go out there and do their job, they can be beat. And, you know, for you to lose three straight games, that shows you that you're not where you need to be mentally and that shows you that you're not where you need to be as a team and as a staff. And the Clippers have to start all the way over in a harder year. This year that's coming up is going to be more difficult. The year that's coming up is going to be more harder. And they're going to have to find a way to get that extra umph, that extra push, that extra kill um, if they want to become champions with this same roster or minor tweaks. Everybody have to want to push themselves and try harder. And I just didn't see that urgency. And I just didn't see that nasty in them to get them to where they needed to go. And that's why they went home. And that's why they wasn't champions this year. But let me know. Can Mike Brown bring it out of them? Can Mike Brown get them there? Or do you think that they should continue to wait a little bit more and find somebody else? Or do you think Tyron Lue should get it? Or do you think that the Clippers, you know, they shouldn't be in a rush to fill this position because they do have a couple more months before the season even considered to start. So they don't have to be in a rush to find a head coach or they can find somebody that's a hidden gem that nobody expect, like we've seen with the Nets, nobody expected Steve Nash to be their coach, and he comes out of nowhere, and now he's their coach. Um, that can also happen with the Clippers. Like I said, I wouldn't be in a rush to give it to Mike Brown. I wouldn't be in a rush to give it to Tyron Lue. But what I would do is try to make sure we're making a decision because this is going to be a long-term commitment from a coach, and you also still paying Doc Rivers, and you guys still aren't where you need to be mentally locked in and focused-wise, and they just need that 
coach that's going to keep them going, keep them pushing, and they need that coach that's going to eventually wake them up and let them know we have a lot of work to do. Even though we have a lot of talent, that's not enough to win this title because there's a lot of talented teams this year in the Western Conference, and we're just another one of them. How can we be better? How can we get better? And how can we push ourselves to be the best team in the NBA and the NBA champions next year in 21? Let me know what you guys think. Check out my website analysis player on.com link in the description comment section below check out my facebook page analysis player on.com link in the description comment section below like on facebook to show support thanks for everybody that liked already also like this video and share it the more you like the more you share the more this cha channel has a chance to grow that's a small thing you guys can do to help the channel continue to grow and help the channel continue to be successful and that's the small thing you guys do as i do not get paid to make these videos on youtube so another thing i will say is check out my old videos if you like this video if you like my older videos i have over a thousand almost two thousand videos on my channel so if you like breakdowns of legends rookies and players or even summer league i do cover summer league i cover free agency i cover the draft players um predictions of the playoffs top 10 lists and i also do cover season preview so if you love basketball you need it every day you need that daily video to get you going to get you excited even to get you going as a fan this is the channel for you. I promise that in my videos will show you that. And also, if you want merchandise, I have my spread shirt in the description in the comment section below. I also do have shirts and clothes and hats available on my Facebook page. So check out my Facebook page. And if you like the shirts, if you like the logos, you can change the color of the shirt. You can change the color of the logo. You can change the color of the hats. And you can change the logo that you want in the hat to what is the one that you want. And you can get that and message me on Facebook and I can get it sent out to you. Other than that, Quinn Wade, basketball analysis is gone. I'll see y'all tomorrow.